Hey, how's it going? Before getting into this video, I wanted to provide a little context. Uh, July 10th, 2019, I had an eight hour emergency room visit with excruciating pain in my left lower back. It turned out it was a nerve uh, issue, which left me with about 60 to 70% functionality of my left leg. That really worried me. I've had broken bones before, those have always healed. This was something different and it wasn't recovering like I wanted it to and like I had hoped it would. So the video you're about to watch is my thoughts six weeks after that happened. A couple of things to keep in mind with the limited use of my left leg. I couldn't put my left leg down when I was on the motorcycle because I couldn't trust that it would hold me up and there was still some pain associated with it but I got to a point where I felt like I could ride. And because of all of the thoughts going through my mind and the want, the need to get out and ride, I thought I would put together this video and hopefully it'll motivate at least one of you out there to get out and not wait to do that trip you've been thinking about, but get out and do it. So stick around and you'll see the thoughts that I had in going through this. All right, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna try this as the vlog style discussion as I'm riding some dirt roads in the Tucson Mountains of New Mexico. Um, so the point of all of this is not to wait to do that trip you want to do. Don't wait to get out and ride your bike or wherever it is that you've been dreaming of going. Whether it be a week-long trip, a month-long trip, international trip, or maybe just riding out someplace nearby, but you keep putting it off. Don't don't do that anymore. And here's here's the reasons why. Um, we don't know what tomorrow holds for us, and we don't know if we'll be able to. And the reason I'm talking about this today is because four weeks ago I had an unexpected emergency room visit, of which the um, doctors there could not figure out what was wrong with me. And it turned out um, I was suffering from a neurological issue. I'll just say issue. I don't think it raised the level of a disorder yet, um, but I was in excruciating pain for nearly eight hours. Seven, level 7, 8 pain that went to level 9, 10, and I thought it was kidney stones, and it turned out not to be kidney stones. And I'm not saying this for any other reason other than um, the effect of it was it's left me with some nerve damage in my left leg, and I have weakness and numbness. Four weeks ago, I was running around, doing everything, living life as if there was nothing, nothing to worry about. Um, no consideration to having any any issues. But then this happened, and thankfully I've been doing all the things that I want to do, and I don't have any regrets that I haven't done anything. But I know a lot of people that just talk about doing things and never never go do them. And so the point of today, of what I'm talking about, is don't wait, because you don't know. I mean, we all know people that have, that have seemed healthy, that things have seemed great, and then have had a uh, medical diagnosis that have not been great. And um, you, we just don't know. Ooh, we got some mud here. That's fine, no problem. All right. All right. Ooh. Ah. Alright, back to what I was saying. There are um, you know, people that have just all of a sudden something comes up. We all know people that have had, had that happen. And don't, don't be the one that has thought about, man, I really wish I could, could go do this or go do that and then not, not do that and have something happen. Um, there, there's something to be said. I think motorcyclists, since I've gotten back into it and meeting people and watching people travel and, and hearing and listening to them talk, there, there is something about living, living in the moment, knowing that you, you may not get another moment. Um, Got to take advantage of what you have now. And uh, th this was, not a huge wake-up call for me, but definitely a wake-up call to, to stay motivated to do the things I want to do. Uh, motorcycle travel, um, 
try to, you know, as my kids get older, get them involved in motorcycling and just kind of continue to do the things that I want to do and know that I need to do it now because maybe I won't be able to. And that's, that's the thing with, with what I just had happen. Um, my strength in my left leg is, I'm guessing, about 70% of normal. And I mean, that, that's having a huge impact. It's, um, it's a challenge to walk upstairs. It's, it feels like I'm at the end of a workout all of the time. And I, I know I'll heal, I know I'll be fine. It's gonna take time, but I mean, what, what if it had been worse and something else had happened? So part of this is don't live with regrets. Um, do, get out and go do those things. When I was at Overland Expo, this last year, the 10th annual, Lisa and Simon Thomas from uh, Two Around the World were there, and I got a chance to listen to them. And, and I know I've said this before in some of my other videos, but you know, si Simon kept saying, I heard him say it at least three or four times, you can always make more money, but you can't make more time. You cannot redo yesterday. It's over. And that's, and that's the thing you have to remember is, don't, don't wait until you have the time. Find the time. Make the time. Otherwise, it's, things are just going to pass you by and, and you're not going to get a chance to do that. Now, I know people that watch my channel are motorcyclists and I think we're all on the same page with that. But I just wanted to emphasize that. Um, the, the importance of getting out and doing it. And you know, you don't want to wait until you get a wake-up call, until something happens unexpectedly. And now you're thinking, oh, I've got to try to get this done now. Just go do it. It's not necessarily a fun topic to talk about the, the inevitable, the lack of ability to do things. I think even, <coughs> even as I get older, I still have somewhat of an invincibility mentality. I do a ton of mountain biking. I, uh, I find myself crashing uh, more often than I would like to. Not a lot, but enough. And uh, when that does happen, ooh, it's a little muddy right there. A little squirrely. Um, you know, I, I don't I don't really think a lot about it. I need to get into the middle of the road. There we go. Um, I don't really think a lot about it. I usually just hop back up and get going. I tend to have scrapes and bruises and bumps all the time and it just doesn't I don't allow it to phase me, um, but we're not invincible. There, there are limits. I'm not sure where I go. Um, I think I need to go left. Okay, I know where I'm at. That's the New Mexico backcountry discovery route that way. Anyway, um, yeah, just get out and do it. Go ride. Don't wait. Don't wait until you have the time. Make the time. That is the most important thing about this. So, um, if, uh, if you've had any experiences like that, anything that have uh, came up that were unexpected and um, you want to talk about it, leave it in the comments, let people know that um, these things happen. You know, unexpected events happen, health issues come up unexpectedly, and um, you may have thought you could do something a month ago, and now you can't. So um, keep that in mind. All right, so I know this topic wasn't necessarily a fun one, but I was hoping that it would motivate at least one of you to get out and ride and not wait to do that trip. Now, if you have any other thoughts or any, any other ideas that uh, you think are worth sharing, uh, please leave those down below in the comments and I uh, hope that I'll run into you out there. So I will see you out there.